Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create animation using forward kinematics and inverse kinematics and understand the difference between uh, keyframing a character which has forward kinematics versus inverse kinematics. So the hand on the left is forward kinematics and the hand on the right is inverse kinematics. So let's jump into Blender and see how this is done. So you can see that I have these two hands that we modeled and rig in the previous classes. Uh, if you have not seen those, the link will be in the description. So if you have one hand and you want to bring in the other hand, you have to go to File, Append, and then you have to select the file in question, whichever you want double click on that file and then you can select the collection and select the collection and append it and it will come here <clears throat> so you can see that I'm in the object mode and I can select these controls and I can also select these controls but to animate we have to go in pose mode and when you select an armature only that armature can go in the pose mode because this is selected here now you will not be able to select this one okay so bear that in mind you will have to go to object mode select this go to pose mode and now you will be able to animate this hand so you can see that this is the forward kinematics hand and this is the inverse kinematics hand so and i have set the time range to 40 so it starts with one ends with 40 we will set the auto key on and what we will do is um, I've already set the first pose for this hand so I can select all these controls and simply rotate it a little bit just to create that first keyframe okay and then what we will do is we'll shift key that Add the keyframe to 40. Okay, so we just need to see this. Add frame number 20. We will rotate the hand up like this. Select this one, rotate it up. Select this one, rotate it up. Go down, rotate it back, rotate it back. And then we will shift T this to 40. Select this, shift T to 40. And then you get this arm animation. To get this, um, movement you have to go into the data properties set the range for motion path and then you will have to calculate the path for example there is no path you have set everything up and then you calculate it and then it will create the curve for you okay so what happens in forward kinematics is because it is pivoting from a specific point you get nice curves and then you just have to focus on animating the rotations so in forward kinematics what we have done is we have animated the rotation of different parts of the hand okay now we will go into object mode select this pose mode and here what we need to do is we need to animate the position of the hand because the hand is going to move like this so auto key is on I'll simply make a change here and then you can work with the rotation of the hand and then we will copy this key so here we have to animate this this and this to get that but here we just have to work with one handle uh, and instead of rotation we are working with the position uh, at frame number 20 the hand goes in the front so we get this and this with one motion and then we can simply add the 
rotation of the hand a little bit here so you can see now we got the animation but we don't get the principles of curves okay everything that moves should move in curves unless it is mechanical so what we have to do is we have to introduce the curve by adding more keyframes so i'll have to add a curve here like this and then we have to repeat it for coming back as well and then still it is not the correct curve so you have to add more keyframes to create that nice looking curve so you can see that the number of controls you have to work with are less but the number of keyframes you need to create are more in inverse kinematics and then you can see that you can mimic the similar look and you can see that this hand is moving more smoothly than this because our curves are still not good enough so you have to spend more time trying to get those curves right to get that animation look and then you have to try and position things correctly so that it works while the hand comes back as well now naturally your hand will not come exactly to the same place uh, and then a little bit of variation is actually a good thing but you can see that uh, animating a forward kinematics and inward kinematics is uh, quite different and there are advantages and disadvantages of both for example if you have a hand which is just moving then forward kinematics works but if you are interacting with any kind of object or then inverse kinematics plays a bigger role and that we will look at in future classes when we work with entire character and make the character interact with other objects that's about it thank you very much